hey guys welcome back so last time we saw how we can navigate to any screen when we are not in a component specifically so right now we can be able to use the root navigation we just created to be able to navigate if we are maybe in actions in middleware in, in the interceptor anywhere now in this one i want us to start working on an axios interceptor that should be able to log out a user once the token is invalid or it's expired for us to be able to test this, I've gone ahead to go on the documentation, which is where we should be finding everything mostly. And first off, when we try to make a request to the endpoint, when we don't have a token, so I'm going to go ahead and do a logout here. So let's say we try to get contacts when we are not authenticated. So we know that we need to have a token before we can call get contacts. So if we try to do that, you'll notice that we get an error giving us a code 403 and also the forbidden error detail so if we let's say we add we had a token that was not correct so let's say we had bearer so it could even be a token a jwt that's right but maybe was not authored by or issued by our server so let's say i put in something like that and i try to execute you see that here we still get the same message so we get the 403 and also the forbidden so this means that every time we see a 403 it could be because we don't have a token down in local storage or that our token has an issue. And at that point, we would want the user to re-authenticate for them to get a token that the server knows about and the one that they can use to log in, access everything else properly. So apparently what we have is we, whenever we make any request and we have a token in local storage, we go ahead to attach that token to our authorization, to our headers as the authorization. Now, this means that right now we have gone ahead to solve the first problem where we, we make a request without the token because right now if we have it, we always, uh, we, or we always send it. So that means that now we need to handle a case for when this token is expired because if a user has not opened this app in a while and this is expired, currently our backend server doesn't have a way to refresh that token and what we need to do now is to get a new one. So here we need to set up an Axios inter interceptor that will be checking if we get this error from the server, specifically if this error code is sent from the server, then we go ahead and log out a user and tell them, hey, what's up? You need to log in again, something like that. So for us to specify an interceptor, right now you see we already have an interceptor for the request. Now we want to create one for the responses. So for us to do one, we're gonna do Axios intercept, Axios instance. Then we want to call interceptors. Then now we want the response. So we want to call use. Now the first parameter is going to be what is sent to us when it is fulfilled, meaning that request succeeded with no errors. So here you can get it as response. So if it succeeded, then we want to make sure that we resolve it. We continue to resolve it. So now we can do new promise, resolve, reject. Then in here, we can resolve the response. So resolve response. Okay, so now what we are most interested in is the error. So here we want to now handle the error. So we can do if there was an error. Now we want to check if that error was not from the server. So we can check if not error dot response. So if, if this error was coming, let's say from a request and maybe we are not able to connect to the server, we need to also handle that separately. So if it's not from the server, then we want to go ahead and reject with this error. So we can do return no promise resolve reject then here we can reject with the error like that now that we have handled a case for when the error is from the client or is not from the server then now we need to handle for when the error is from the server and the status code is 403 so here we can check if error dot status equals want to check for 403 so if it's 403 then we want to log out a user otherwise if it's not 403 so let's say the error now was maybe because it was like a validation error and it's not 403 then we want to go ahead and also handle that properly and send it back to the application so here we can have another return that, that basically rejects with that error so if it's 403 then we want to be able to log out the user so we can do logout like this remember we have an action called logout user but logout user expects us to give it a dispatch function, something like this, which at this point we don't have in this context. So what you can do is we can redirect a user to a component. Let's say for now, remember how we created our navigator that can navigate from anywhere. 
we can use this to navigate to a component and then in that component we can access the dispatch state from our global context and now call the logout action from there so something like this so let's say now we call navigate so now let's say we navigate i'm going to create a screen called logout so let's say we we go so let's say now we navigate to logout let's say when we get an error we navigate to logout and then maybe we can have some parameter maybe something like token expired token expired to true so that we know how to handle this specific call from that screen so for now don't worry much about this but just know that if you wanted to differentiate let's say a user if a user said log out himself or when we are navigating from here so if a user said log out himself and you wanted to have the same flow you would maybe prompt them to confirm if they want to log out but here you really want to log out and you don't want a user to confirm anything so that's why you see i'm specifying this but it doesn't really matter so for now let's go ahead and log out so i'm going to go to screens and then i'm just going to have a logout like this index.js this can be any function logout so it's not going to have anything we are just going to have an activity indicator to show that we are loading something but it really doesn't matter we are just using it as a hack to log out the user properly let's make sure it's being imported also let's clean it up so here we can say every time this is mounted go ahead and call the logout action so here we can of course access the auth dispatch by selecting it from use context then we want to import global context use context and import global context so now that we have the auth dispatch oh we need to make sure we're importing this so now that we have this let's also make sure we're importing use effect properly so every time this is mounted we can of course do a check if we are logging out from the action but it's not really necessary from the interceptor but it's not really necessary so here we can now say logout user we can now call our action so logout user then we path our dispatch which is now the auth dispatch like this okay so now that we have this we need we need of course to hook it up with our navigation so we're gonna go to our navigators in fact i'm first gonna go to the we're gonna first go to our route names constants then we're gonna have the logout now that we have the logout we can go to our navigations so we can go to navigations then we want then we want the home navigation then we can have another screen for logout here so let's call it logout okay then we hook it up to the logout component the logout screen like this so now if we save oh this import is not working properly so let's make sure we go there and fix it i'm guessing we need to do this save let's reload it and the app you see now is working fine because our token is fine so let's say now the the token expired or it was invalid so for us to be able to test that i'm just gonna go to the instance make sure we are importing this actually here okay so i'm gonna come here also i'm going to remove this because we are not working with them anymore to keep it a bit clean so for us now to be able to simulate an invalid token so i'm gonna come in here where we have this token the real one and change it to something like xxx so when i save here the app goes ahead to log out a user and uh, now the user is, is on the login page so that's what happened so what happened was the app went ahead and made re this request and when it received this response it went ahead to now run the code here to navigate the user to the logout page for which on the logout page we do, whenever this is called we go ahead and log out that user so that's just a simple example on how you can do this so i hope this was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you in the next video thanks for watching bye